say good morning everybody mrs chunky chunk just picking out annabelle's clothes i thought this one was cute time to get dressed and ready for the day annabelle's ootd good morning guys annabelle's getting cray cray because she doesn't want to sit in her crib while i do my makeup so i'm gonna put her right next to me all right let's see how long she lasts here all right, you guys, is your baby getting to the age where she literally wants to be held 24 seven? I remember when my sister had her two kids, um, they both went through this age. I thought it was like a little later. I don't know. I think babies just want to be held in general. And yeah, she has the hiccups right now. And I don't know how long this bow is going to last, but I thought I would dress her up really cute. Oh, see that face? See that frown face? I can't take that face. When she puts that face on, I'm like, okay, you can get what you want. <laughs> So every day at the same time, Annabelle magically <laughs> turns into a fussy baby. Every day at like 10 o'clock and then at her witching hour, which is like 7.30, she does this like noise thing and then she starts crying and she doesn't want to be put down, but she doesn't want to be nursed, but she doesn't want to be rocked. Can't do anything right. And it usually passes like, what's wrong? Usually passes after, I don't know, I haven't been timing it, but it feels like forever. What is wrong? Are you, I don't know, are they teething at this age? Because she's drooling a lot and she's eating her hand. But I feel like three months is too early. But some of you guys are telling me your baby got, she doesn't like when I talk. What? Some of you guys are telling me your baby's got their first tooth, tooth at three months. So, all right, I gotta go. What's wrong, baby? Well, you have the hiccups, so that's not pleasant. Why are you a fussy baby? So following up from yesterday's vlog when I showed you guys how I prepped my bread, today is when I'm actually going to bake my bread. So I set my oven to 450 and I actually put my Dutch oven in um, like my regular oven so it can heat up. And this is what the dough looks like. It looks completely different than yesterday. Basically like rows and uh, yeah so i have to form this into a ball doug is so funny um ever since annabelle actually no um ever since i was pregnant he always like comes home on his lunch breaks and i tell him that he doesn't have to because we don't live far from his work at all probably like five minutes um but i don't want him to like have to you know stop what he's doing because he has a really i mean he kind of has a stressful job so i know it can be hard to like you know drive here and drive back try to find parking and everything but um he started coming home on his lunches when i was pregnant because he thought like well first off i had really bad morning sickness so he thought like you know he'd come and support me when i was throwing up on my on his lunch break um and he'd like you know help me like eat and stuff and so i thought it would stop after that but he's so nice that he's like well i need to come home like on my lunch breaks you know just to see if annabelle's okay and stuff He's so funny. So yeah, he's coming home and I thought it'd be nice to make him um, like a sandwich on the special bread because it's his favorite thing ever. And this time I thought I would add like um, seeds. So I really want to add more than this, but all I have is sesame seeds. So I thought I would just do like a light coating on the edges um, with sesame seeds. So yeah, this is what the ball of dough looks like. It's the funnest thing ever to like pick up and play with. I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on there and then put it back in the oven for 30 minutes. I'm going to put it in here and put the lid on and cook it for 30 minutes. So Annabelle woke up and she does not want to be put down, do you? Well, what am I supposed to do? Hold you forever? Actually, I just need to get a baby carrier that fits me. So yeah, I should probably do that. Look at her kicking. All right, all right. So I got some baby clothes sent to me from a website called Pat Pat, and I will link all of them below, but I thought I would show you like a mini baby haul. Um, okay, so I got them, I think three to six months and some of them six to 12 because, I don't know, I just feel like I have a lot of stuff um, for the zero to three size. But this is the first one. This is so cute. Like if we went to Disneyland or something, love it. It's like a little dress. She doesn't have too many dresses, so I like this one. And the second one is definitely for a bigger baby slash toddler. Actually, this is definitely a toddler. Actually, I don't know. Um, and it looks like this. It's just like a really cute little jacket. 
She doesn't have anything like this, so I'm excited to wear that, although probably won't be for a while. The next thing is this really cute gingham. I think this is just like a little dress, and I have a matching shirt, so of course I had to get it. The next one is definitely my favorite. I saw these on Etsy, and they were expensive on Etsy, but on this website, they're like super affordable. A little romper, like a plaid, or plaid, actually, I think this is gingham. Little gingham romper. I love like the little butt has like little bloomers and it has like a little cross on the back and then it also comes with the cutest little like actually I could probably wear this but it's like a little head wrap for her and then this one's just like a little white flutter sleeved onesie with like a little tutu on the bottom so yeah I have an 18% off code that I will put below and their stuff's really affordable anyways it's kind of like a flash deal site so um yeah, everything like is new all the time on their website and they always have really good deals. I'm not really a big fan of paying like top dollar for baby clothes. Um, maybe like one or two things so I can keep them for a long time. But for everyday stuff, I just don't see the point because she's already ruined so many onesies. Here and there I want to buy nice stuff, but for the most part I feel like it should just be affordable. This is how my bread turned out and some of the sesame stuck, but... Some of them didn't, or the seeds. Were they like soaked in? Is that what happened? Yeah, I don't know. They just didn't want to stick, but I'm going to cut it and see what it looks like. So Doug's cutting the bread. It looks pretty good. Although our knives need to be sharpened, so it's a little yeah, hard to do. I have to sharpen them. How is it? I like it. Pretty bomb. I like it a lot. She likes to fly. <laughs> Why does it look like she's a dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> she's more like a plane. She flies in here. She's like... Doug! <laughs> Let me see your face. <laughs> okay, don't make her dizzy. What are you doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who had a good sleep? Kiki baby. Look at these chunk legs. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Annabelle and I just woke up from a nap, didn't we? So, I really do not want to make dinner today. I just do not feel like anything I buy. This is a problem. Lately, I haven't been like meal planning, so I just buy a bunch of random like vegetables and meat and stuff. And when it comes to dinner time, I'm just like, ugh, I don't feel like more bell pepper and chicken. <laughs> So maybe if I'm lucky, we'll go out to dinner. Cause we haven't gone out to dinner. Well, we go out every once in a while, but we haven't gone out lately, like in the past five days. <laughs> so honestly, I know it seems like we got a lot and we kind of do, but that is because I don't get outside. And like the only time I get to go outside is when we eat out. So that's just my life right now. But the only thing is, is Annabelle has her witching hour every day at like seven or sometime, I don't know, it's like 6.30 to like 7.30, she gets cray cray, at least for the past like, I think like four or five days-ish. So I don't really like to be out and about when she's like screaming her head off. Huh, baby, you'd never know looking at that face. But she like gets so fussy and she makes this like frowny face. So yeah, I don't really like to be out when she gets like that because she basically just cries herself to sleep. So maybe if Doug comes home, we can go right away so we can like beat the fussy hour or the witching hour. You know, you're doing so good. Oh, look at you lifting up that head. Look at that head lifting up. Yes. Oh, you're drooling all down the side of your face right now and mommy doesn't even notice. <laughs> I can't see. The drool is so intense. I'll use this. I'll use this ear. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Annabelle. All right, watch, you now we push your hands in like this, and then you can really get a good lift. Look at that lift. Oh, yeah. Look at that lift. Oh. So Doug ordered himself a new pair of um, Zenny optical glasses. So there's your dad's clips. Mm-hmm. Go over it. And we're gonna see if you could tell the difference, because his look really grimy. <laughs> All right, wearing. so Doug accidentally got matte instead yeah, of the instead shiny. Of the Tell us if you guys can see the difference. Okay, show the shiny. These are his original ones. Like the, not like the, like how could, how do you explain that? Like the sides are shiny. Yeah, the frame. Like glossy, yeah, the, the frame. Frame's, the frame's glossy. Okay, and these are the matte and I don't like them. I like the shiny. See, but you didn't like, I used to wear these old like just thin frame glasses. And when I started wearing these, she didn't like them either. But one is shiny, and I don't like. I like the the original the ones. Same shit. No, Doug. It's no. The same exact thing. 
You could tell that they're they're like the same. They're actually slightly different. Are you gonna be a good baby? You're gonna cry. We're gonna find out. So Doug and I are gonna drive in the direction of our favorite Mexican place ever, El Amigo, in what city? I think it's technically Hawthorne. Hawthorne. You guys have to go here if you live in the area. It looks so sketchy. <laughs> like it looks like it's a hole in like the literal wall. But it's the best Mexican food ever. But you have to get the right thing. Actually, no, everything's probably good. I get tacos, Doug gets a wet burrito. We've been there on the vlogs before. And a lot of you guys were saying that freaking. Well, wow, you're gonna go there, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go there. What's it called? Cafe Rio. Cafe Rio. Doug, what do you have to say about everyone saying they love Cafe Rio? To each his own. That's not what he said before. No, before I said you don't know Mexican food if Cafe Rio's your spot. But we all, like to be fair, we love Rubio's and it's like super white people. Yeah. It's like whitewashed Mexican food. But if I had to pick, like if if I just had to pick every time, you know, like you could only eat one type of Mexican food for the rest of your life. El Amigo. Yeah, El Amigo's so bomb. Except for you could not eat this for the rest of your life because you'd get sick every day. Well no, what I'm saying is if you could only eat one kind of Mexican food. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna go there, but we're gonna make our way there, and if she gets crazy, we'll just drive through maybe like In-N-Out. Uh, yeah. Because it's right next door. It might be pretty long. I know, In-N-Out, like, I don't know, everybody just always wants it every day. El Amigo! Hi, little girl! Hi, little girl! Hi, little baby! <laughs> She's doing good so far. This is how big the restaurant is. There's like four booths. So while Haley gets Annabelle settled in or settled out, whichever one, I'm looking. I'm looking at my second baby. Dude. Look at mine. I eat this for two meals. Where's my? Here's my iPhone 6s Plus next to the burrito. That tells you how big it is. Look at. Then here's Haley's tacos, con guacamole. That's pretty good. Oh. Oh, she does, huh? And I usually eat this for two meals. It's such a good deal. Yeah. I mean, there's four tacos with rice and beans. But mine's only one meal. What do you say about that? You should have split that in half. All I have to say to Cafe Rio is Cafe Rio is like $15 for a one taco plate. This thing's like $7. I mean, it's not that much of a difference, but it kind of is. Yeah, you guys, just like bask in this, really. Look at that. She even wants to start eating. Oh my god, this burrito is so good. Doug's like making love to his burrito. Yeah, I'm making love to him. Maybe I shouldn't have called it my second child. I should have called it my side chick. Okay. <laughs> This is probably the most that I've volunteered to talk on the vlog. What are you gonna say, Dad? Look at the glory of this burrito. The wet burrito has beans, rice, crema, carne asada, guacamole, onions, salsa. It's just the whole. It's the whole package. It's the best burrito I've ever had. Guys, we forgot to end our vlog again. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Yesterday, what do we do? We just do the same thing every day. We come back, um, we watch Suits on Netflix because it's our new favorite show, it's so good. And go to sleep. I literally fell asleep again because I'm just so tired. And I woke up at like, I think, 3 a.m. this morning um, and nursed Annabelle and was like on my computer because I had more energy. I don't even know, like my sleep patterns are so off. And then I decided to just put up my skincare routine video at 4 a.m. And I saw a lot of your guys' comments being like, oh my God, why is this video up at 4 a.m., you know? Um, well, I can schedule videos, but I actually was up for that one. So yeah, if you haven't seen that one, I did like an evening skincare routine. Um, I will link it somewhere um, down below. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And give it a like if you like it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, guys.